Okay, so like I said, I'm recording. Um, the goal of today's lesson is to practice using the tablet. But at the same time, at the same time, you're going to learn how to do what I are basically the building blocks of all drawing. Straight lines, C curves, and S curves. Well, what's a straight line? Well, that's pretty obvious. Straight line. What's a C curve? Let me give me a second. The things. Oh, come on, Z. So here you go. That's a C curve. So it's a C basically. Okay, drawing a lot of C's. And maybe before you start, you want to do this. And what? And how do I go back uh, more than one step in Photoshop? Does anybody remember? That's it. So instead of just Command Z, it's Command Alt Z. Okay. So, and I'll say this right now, Command Z is your friend. So that means going back is definitely your friend. And what is an S curve? Well, it's an S. And it's important that it's an S. I don't want this, okay? That's not an S curve. That's like a squiggle, I guess. That's an S. That's an S. That's an S. You get it, okay? So what I want you to do is you're going to draw it. Well, I'm going to show you uh, in the... Uh, Thing that I shared with you. So give me a second here. And I'm using my pen on my tablet to move around because it's basically a mouse. So this is important. I'm going to say this too. I don't want anybody using their mouse for drawing. Even though you technically could, I, I don't want you to do that. All right? I don't want you to use them even though you could. So let me just, uh, well, why is the instructions not working here? Double click on it, I guess. So this is basically what you're going to create. So here's my straight lines. Here's my C curves. There's my S curves. Okay. So uh, we're also going to be using Adobe Color Rules, which I'll show you in a second how to do so that it's a little bit nicer. So here's my sheet. So Command Minus, if you remember, allows me to see the whole sheet. Okay. I'm just going to click command. I feel like there's, oh, there's a scratch on my screen. Okay, perfect. So what you want to do is draw three rectangles. Now, you can draw a free hand and do your best. I want to give you a tip, though. Every time you put your pen down and you draw, it's one line. Then let go, take it off the tablet and then click again and then let go and click again why is that a good thing well because if you had to do command Z it only gets rid of one line alright and then I'm gonna let go and click again and then I'm gonna go like this so this is good enough okay so I know you're gonna be oh it's not perfect uh, that's one way to do I'll show you a trick to do it perfect and I'm only gonna show you guys two techniques because the the third technique was too complicated that this morning they lost, wasted a whole bunch of time. So the technique is shift and then put your pen down, click, whoops, actually it's the other way around. It's put your pen down, then shift, then draw, so then it makes it perfect. Then uh, pen down, shift, I kind of did it a little quick there, I can use the eraser after. Then pen down, shift. Pen down, shift, and I know I, I, I'm cut, and I'll just use the eraser tool. Where is the eraser tool? It's over here. And here's a trick. So right now, black, and this is my background color. Press the D key, and it'll go to the default color. And I made a mistake that I probably should have told you at the beginning, and it's fine. I wanted to show you this mistake. You're probably better drawing your each of your rectangles on a blank layer. How do I know it's blank? Well, because look, you see the little uh, checkerboard here. If I draw on the white uh, key on the white background, uh, if I draw on the white background, uh, what you're going to have to do is use the uh, well, flip it and erase with the uh, well. I'm going to with the brush. Does anybody remember how do I make the uh, brush tip bigger? There's a hot key. What is it? Close and open bracket. Absolutely. So there you go. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to paint white because on this one I, I did it on the white background. And, you know, like I could also copy this one and redo it, but I'm going to just redraw it. 
I'm only going to do, well, I could do, let's just do it quickly here. So I'm going to, where is it? Right here. Okay. So again, put my, and I'll make this one bigger, but don't make it too big. Uh, if you're having a hard time making it straight, just make it a little bigger and it's a little easier. So shift, I'll put the pen down, shift. Oops, I'm on white, so nothing's going to show up. Flip this over. Put a down, shift, click. 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 Okay, whoops, I let go of the shift key. I'm leaving it that way. So what do you have to do at the top? You're going to do straight lines. And I want a lot of straight lines, okay? And if if you kind of screw up, Command Z is your friend. I'm going to like just keep going just so you can get it. It's really important that you close it off, and that means down here. Here's a trick. How do I know if I'm closed off? You can obviously zoom in, but there's a thing called Navigator that's really useful for this. So we're gonna, I'm going to show you this tool. And when I go Command Plus, okay, then I can click the space bar, and you see how the little hand shows up? See that? I'm going to go up, and, well, I see, oh, I did miss this here. So I'm going to go back to my brush, and I'm going to close it off. Because when I do the painting, and I'm going to use the eraser tool, and it's probably useful to learn the hotkey, it's just E. So I can go here, E, and there you go. It's not erasing very well. So let's just check. Opacity is at 50%. Let me put it at 100%. And so there you go. It'll be a lot better. And the other thing is I, don't, I want what I call the hard brush. It's just so much better. Okay? So I'm going to go with that, and it'll erase really easily. Okay? And for your brush too, your paintbrush, in case, I'm going to just say this too, double check, use the hard brush. So here you are, hard round. So, okay, let me just fill this in, fill this in, okay? Now I'm going to go Command Minus. So you use that to go in here. And down here I want C curves, okay? So C curves like this. You're practicing drawing them. So if you're going like this and they're all crooked, Command Z. So your goal is to try to make it look as, as it flows, okay? And it's nice, and you could go the other way to, you know, that's a C. So the bottom line is they all need to be Cs, okay? I'm going to just go quickly here. And down here, I want S curves, okay? So, and of course, it should close off at the top. So I would Command-Z that one, Command-Alt-Z. So there you go, S. That's not an S. That's what you're practicing, okay? So I'm going to just stop there and you know, you kind of get it. But I want to show you Adobe Color Rules. Whoops. Let's go back to Photoshop. So I'm going to go to Adobe Color. So I click on Window. And then I go to Extension, Adobe Color Rules. And then I'm going to turn on my swatches over here. I'm going to click on it. It should show up. And it shouldn't be loose. I'm not used to using the pen to navigate, so it's kind of being a little awkward there. So I'm still waiting. So here's my swatches. I'm going to give you a tip because I want you to use Adobe Color Rule swatches. I don't want you to just grab colors and drop them in here, okay? So I don't want that. So click on Explore, and what you're going to see is there's a whole bunch of them already in here. And you can click with your pen. You'll see on the pen there's like a little mouse button. So you click on it. And sometimes it, it's like awkward, but if, you know, you'll get used to it. And then down here, let's pretend this is the one I want. I add it to swatches, so there they are. So I'm going to use these, this swatch to do my first one. So I click on the I key, eyedropper, then you see how it shows up here? Then I go over here, I'm going to use the pen, the bucket tool, and boom. Oh, why did it do that? Well, probably because I'm on the wrong layer, okay? So some of you are going to make that mistake. Or maybe it's not closed off properly. That's interesting. I need, to, and if you're not sure, turn it off. Oh, I, I drew on two layers, so it won't work so well, will it? So this is really like a dumb mistake on my part, but that's because I'm kind of going a little too quickly. So if I click this, put this color here, here, and just make a nice pattern. Any questions? Okay, so that's what you're working on. One thing I want to mention before, when you create your document, I want it to be in, por in, in uh, portrait mode. So like this, 8.5 by 11. So file, 
when you go new, a lot of you always like are confused about this. Uh, you'll see you have the option to click on print. So look over here, print, and make sure you have this selected, eight and a half by eleven. You're good to go. Okay. If you have any questions, let me know.